hello everyone and welcome back to my channel within this video we are going to learn that if any container is running and we want to add an additional command with running container so how can we achieve that so for doing it we need to run docker then exec it means execute hyphen it so we are going to discuss it in detail but for now just keep this thing in mind that we will need to run it then after container id and after that you can place your command whatever you want to run if you need to check that what containers are running you can fire docker then ps hyphen a or hyphen hyphen all command so let us see that uh, how does it take place so for for this example i'm going to create a new container redis i'm going to create yes the, the container has been created and I'm going to start it now. Docker start and container ID. Yes, container is started. Docker ps command I can use to verify it. What I will do here is I will check that I am not able to attach any further command with this. Reason being docker entry point dot as, is command, is, as command is running but i'm not able to add i'm not able to find any further command so what if i need to attach one command with this container this is a container id if i want to attach any command with this so how i'm what i'm going to do so just see this thing in action so docker exec hyphen it that's a container id or maybe redis hyphen cli command i want to fire with this yes so i can check that i'm able to execute command now maybe i want to set and i want to say name and value will be lokendra okay now if i want to check get name fine so i'm able to find the value of my key which i set then after if i want to set uh, then after my date so whatever value i want 22nd maybe jan whatever i want i can set here and when i need to get it back and i will i will paste uh, place my key date my date so that is 22nd of jan so this is how you can execute multiple command with with the container and if i press control c here so this command this container will still be running here but the particular command which i associated with this container that has been terminated once again the container is running as i can check here container is running properly but the particular command line interface which i associated with it that that has been terminated so keep this thing in mind that if you want to check further okay let me make it a bit more smaller yes so now if you see it docker ps hyphen this is container id this is image this is command this is uh, when it was created status is up port this port is opened then after name keen underscore murdoch is a particular container name so what i am trying to show here is that if you start any container you want to associate any command with it so later on as well you can associate it but for that you need to use this command docker exec hyphen it what what is it we have we are going to discuss very soon but if we do not discuss hyphen if we if we do not execute hyphen it so what would happen let us see that thing as well if i run this redis hyphen cli if i run this command so redis command has been associated with this container but i shall not be able to find it or i shall not be able to get any uh, terminal shell where i can execute uh, my exit where i can uh, pass my further commands on so if i check docker ps command so nothing is showing here wherein if i run docker exec hyphen it if i run here so once again i will get the cell and i shall be able to place my my words here uh, get uh, maybe test hello if i say get test so it will print hello so 
so this is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching have a good time happy learning if you have any questions so please do write in comment box i shall be happy to answer thank you